Hi, I'm Neil O'Grady, osteopath, and what I want to explain to you today is a muscle energy technique for a type 2, according to Freud's law, spinal dysfunction, and in this case it will be L2, flexion, rotated and side bent to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you, Nicola, to face me. So in this case, the rotated uh, facets are going to be facing downwards. And I'll put her into a number of positions to accumulate the barriers and then we will do a muscle energy technique to stretch the muscles that we want to here in this case. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to hold the feet, bring it a little bit closer. I'm going to flex the hips and knees with my keflet hand on the involved segment just until I can feel movement below the involved segment. So I'm moving up here. So it's L2, so I'm just when I get to L3, and I can just feel L2 opening on L3, that's it, that's as far as I want to go. Okay, next thing I want to do, because it's a flexion dysfunction, which is the meaning that in, in osteopathic terms that flexion is the ease of, mo ease of movement, I would need to induce some extension. So I'm gonna get you to straighten the bottom leg out onto the couch. Now I'm introducing extension. So I'm gonna just leave the upper leg looped and resting in the popliteal surface at the back of the lower leg. I'm gonna change hands now. So I'm gonna put the caudad hand on the involved segment here, L2 on L3. And what I want to do now is I'll place the upper hand just on your waist there like that. And because it's a flexion dysfunction and it's rotated and side bent to the right, I'm gonna derotate it here and rotate, introduce left rotation to the barrier. So rotation left. And because it's a flexion dysfunction, again, meaning flexion is the ease of motion, I want to introduce some extension, so I'll pull upwards. Okay, so now I've introduced a lot of barriers. Now I'm gonna leave this hand just here. And now I just want to introduce another barrier, which is a little bit more rotation. So it's naturally rotated right. So I'm gonna introduce some more left rotation. So I get you to place your hand here. I'm gonna get you to take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, I'm going to follow the shoulder down and get you to reach down the table just a little bit and breathe in again and reach down and you follow the shoulder down. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold onto the table there. Now I'm going to change hands again. So there's a lot of pieces to this, but once you do it a few times, it's okay. So I'm here on the involved segment and now I want to introduce the final barrier, which is I'm going to introduce side bending, so it's rotated and side bend to the right. So I want to introduce rotation and side bending to the left. So I'm going to move the upper leg in a side bending motion. So what I'm doing here is effectively I'm side bending the, her lumbar spine and at that segment to the left, because the, the ease of motion is side bent right. I'll bring it up to until I can feel a barrier accumulate. I'll introduce an isometric contraction by asking the patient to push the foot downwards. So you might have to explain what that means so they don't straighten the leg. So downwards is this. So push the foot downwards, but just use about 20 to 30% of your strength. Push down for one, two, three, four, five. Relax, breathe in and breathe out. And I'll slowly bring it to the barrier. Make sure your communication with your patient's good, that it's not pinching or hurting. I'll typically do that about three times. It can be three to five, three times normally enough. And then finally, I'll do just one passive stretch. So breathe in, I'll come out and breathe out. And I'll go and just give it one passive stretch. And that is it. I'll return the leg to the couch. I'll get you to turn over into a comfortable position. And that, everyone, is a muscle energy technique for a type 2 lesion, according to Fright. And in this case, it's L2, rotated and side bent right. And... Uh, that is it. If you like the content and you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.